another weekend vlog. Happy Friday. If you're new here, I'm Chiffon, pronounced like a, the material. And if you're not new here, welcome back, girl. Y'all, please forgive me. I just came out of the shower and I wanted to introduce a vlog because I was already like doing some stuff in Target. So, um, yeah, so and that's my mom in the background. So my mom's still here. Y'all know that I did a long distance move my mom's still here but she's flying home tomorrow to uh pittsburgh but that's where i'm originally from but um so i think she's telling my sister with something about plumbing or something like that something about a pipe or something so um yeah so we were at target and i'm gonna run it back oh mm -hmm. my goodness lost ticket don't lose your ticket you have to pay to park at target Oh my gosh, mom. That's crazy. This looks so cute. I'm looking for like a, or I'm going for like a neutral type of feel for my new apartment. So this is perfect in Target. So cute. Oh my gosh. Everything is just so cute. Wow. I feel like I'm in Ikea. These are pretty good lamps. I like that one right there. That's completely different. Y'all. One, the music in this store is great. And two, how cute is this? Y'all, yeah, oh, it's a good time in here. Y'all, yeah, look how cute these weights are. Cute. Look at these pink ones. This makes me want to exercise. Okay, now fast forward to now. I uh, just got out of the shower. I'm in bed. I'm about to eat some food. I got another salad from Sweet Greens. If you've seen my last vlog, you know, like I had it two times, I think, already. This is my third time. I got the buffalo chicken one. It looks pretty good. It has pickles on there. That's how we got it because I love pickles. And it has cilantro on here. I told him no cilantro, but it's on here anyways. I don't think I like cilantro. I'm not really sure, but this salad looks really good. It's called Sweet Greens. I've, um, I, this is the first time I've tried it before. Hopefully y'all can hear me. <laughs> I'm all talk loud. But, um, yeah. Anywho, um, it's Friday evening and I'm about to just relax for a little bit. And let's just get this weekend vlog started. happy sunday <laughs> so i'm so exhausted from the move but welcome to dc so i moved to the dmv area i'm doing my makeup y'all so um for those those who don't know dmv stands for like dc maryland virginia area so when I go out to like eat and stuff like that, and I share where I'm going, you may it may say DC, it may say Maryland, and it may say Virginia. And it's not that I'm traveling, you know, um, a, like a long time to get to the places. It's just like everything is so close. Like five miles I can be in DC, five miles I can be in Maryland, five miles I can be in Virginia. So yeah. I'm just doing my makeup. I'm using a, a beauty blender. Um, I'm so excited to be here. I am getting ready to go to CB2. So, um, if you didn't know, CB2 is like the daughter of Cranborough. And apparently CB2 is for apartment style living. And because my place is smaller than what I was at before, literally like half the size, I need to like get smaller furniture. So like, I don't know if it's because the Barbie movie is coming out or whatever, but I feel like, okay, so this is kind of like a Barbie house, like a Barbie miniature house. And I was obsessed with Barbie when I was a little girl. Like when my parents used to buy 
used to buy me Barbies when I was young. We would go to like the store or whatever, I would get a Barbie and I would literally read the back of the box all the way until I got home. Like that's how obsessed I was. And then I had this like Barbie world in my room where I had a pool, like a kitchen, a car, like <sighs> good times. I was at Target um, on Friday and I was literally this close to going down to Barbie aisle. I want to go to a Barbie showing, but I kind of want to find somewhere that's fun to go to. Like, it's not me just going to the movie. Like, I want it to be an event. So, I've seen a couple of events in the area where it's going to be, like, a showing. And there might be, like, a show, like, a performance and, like, I don't know, take-home stuff and stuff like that. I'm trying to be, like, light on the makeup today. Like, not too much full coverage. I hope the lighting is okay. I'm still getting used to being in this place. Um, yeah, look, even if I turn away, like there's like shadowing and stuff like that. But hopefully it's okay. Okay, let me put some more on my nose a little bit because that's where it be cracking sometimes. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to CV2. I gotta get a couple of things and I'm not gonna rush and buy stuff. I'm going to take my time. I'm pulling out something I haven't used in a while. It's just the MAC Mineral Mineral Last Skin Finish and Natural, and this is in dark. Ooh, that girl, what was that like? <laughs> Why I look orange? Oh my. Whoa. What is this? What's, what's up with the camera? Is it because it's trying to fuck? Why I look black and gray? Oh my gosh, that was, come on color, come back. That was very weird. Okay, so I'm going to use the mineralized skin finish in the color, in the color dark. Y'all, that is so strange to me, oh my gosh. Just to go over my um, powder, I usually use the um, Fenty um, powder, but I feel, I figured this is a pressed powder and it won't be as, like it won't pick up as much product on the brush and that way it won't look as, um, like as matte. Okay, looking good, girl. Um, so now let me, um, do some contouring. So yeah, I'm really excited to be here. I mean, y'all have seen all of my vlogs about me traveling to DC. Like I love the DC area. Um, I'm a girl that really likes going to museums, especially if they're free. The museums in DC is free y'all. Well, the Smithsonian museums. I can't say all of them because there's a lot of museums here. But the Miss Smithsonian museums, to my knowledge, are free. And I just love going to museums. Excuse me. I love going to museums. I think it's so beautiful walking at the monuments. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff to do. It was my favorite place to travel as a um like when i was an undergrad i traveled so many i had so many girls trips traveling down here like it's insane okay now i'm gonna do the joy um blush from rare beauty which y'all haven't seen me use yet but the color is so cute here it is it's like a orange coral coral type of thing I want to be because you don't really need let me do that side first place. and I've been like blending it out with my finger and then I do go over it with the brush but I think it's a beautiful color like I probably didn't even need all of that to be honest but sometimes when I get with blush, I get heavy handed. But yeah, this is the color Joy. And this is supposed to give like a dewy look. Like y'all can see 
the dewiness of it which is that's what i'm trying to be for the summer yo what's up uh the color is so off with my camera and literally it's my iphone i don't even have a fancy camera so um this this what i'm this what i'm working with but i think the color is so pretty y'all isn't that so cute i'm finally trying the one size fantasize mascara sorry y'all after i'm done filming i'll figure out like what is something about when i hold it close to my face maybe it's trying to break up my red undertones but this is what the um brush looks like okay i usually use the lately i've been using the fenty beauty um mascara this is called hella thick and i like that one a lot i end up getting this one um as like something for free or it was either with my um benefit points or something some way i got it where i didn't spend money on it okay so that's what it looks like here and this is my lashes here so it's like it made them thicker. Now, lengthwise, I guess so. If I look at it this way, yeah, mm -hmm. it's cute. Okay, I'm all dressed up and ready to go. I just put my scent on. Um, I thought I was recording, but apparently I was not. The Valentino scent, this one. And then my, um, I'll just let that dry down naturally. My top is from Anthropology. I'm an Anthropology girl, y'all. I really love this top. It's a one shoulder top. I'll link it. Um, I feel like, here, let me bring the brightness down. See how it's like ribbed a little bit? But um, it's still very, very comfy. Hold on, y'all. It's kind of dark. Let me press the lighting. Okay. So it's still, uh, it's still very, very comfy. It's going to be like um, 87 or 89 today. So I thought this was very fitting. And then I have this skirt on that I am obsessed with. Let me bring y'all down. Oh, y'all can see it in this mirror behind, him, behind me. So it is a skirt from the Frankie shop. Like, I'm literally upset with, obsessed with this. So this is the size large. Oh, sorry. Um, I got to get the angles together in here. It's a size large. Um, it's very high-waisted, y'all. I'm by three. I'm really fat too, but I say fat three. Um, so this is the skirt. It has a slit in it, which is so cute. My heels I have on are from La Rude. Just the um, uh, platform sandals. They're so comfy to walk with. You really can't see them as much until I start walking, but they're so comfy that I want to wear them. And then my bag for today is from um, Rebecca Minkoff, the silver, um, bag. So, yeah, this is a little, let me tell y'all the story behind the fat two, fat three. So, when I was younger, I used to wear, um, U part wigs, but the way I would make them is I would make them as an invisible part. And if you don't know what that means, that means you would take little tracks that was this short and you will place them this way really close together on top of each other like this and i still had a leave out out but the thought is that you do not have to meet you wouldn't leave your leave out out because it will be an invisible part it'll look like hair's growing out your scalp but i always have a leave out i used to go to the doctors they like this is what still when i was like in my teen years like um and 
when I, I think I was an undergrad and I was still, I was very young. I graduated college um, before I was even 21. And was I, yeah, graduated college before I was 21. And so um, I guess I still wasn't done growing. I don't know. I was still growing even when I got to college. And so my peak height was 5'3". And at that peak height, they took my height when I would use a U part. And back then, it would give me a little hump, okay? So that would give me extra, you know, height until I switched over. Instead of using the middle part, I just stopped and just did a regular flat part. Girl, I'm fat too! So that's why I'd be like, Five three, five two, because all my life, basically my adult years, until like after undergrad, when I start going to pharmacy school and I change the way I wore my part, I thought I was five three, but apparently I'm five two, girl. Mm, ain't that something? It is very grand in here. This is cute. Literally nothing in here will fit into my apartment. It's very grand. It's beautiful. I didn't even know there were this many types of rugs. Y'all, I'm in restoration hardware and even the bathroom is nice. Like, look at this. It's Monday, y'all. So happy Monday. It's Monday evening. I've been chilling. Um, I think I told y'all, or man, I don't remember, but I haven't started working today. So I'm enjoying this transition through this break until I start my new job. So today I just chilled. I did have a meeting today. Uh, it was a Zoom meeting, so that was cool. But it was a good day. So right now I'm about to dye my wig, my U Park wig. I literally just took off my head. I'm dyeing it black, like jet black. So um, I always dye my extensions, not my real hair, my extensions, because I leave my real hair to the professionals, professionals girl. But my extensions, like, why not? So I'm just dyeing it that um, jet black. I use the one double a um ultra cool black color from Clural, so i use the liquid liquid color and then um i use this developer together so these two and by no means am i a hairstylist but it's just something like i can do like going through undergrad and like just living in areas where I haven't had access to a like a hairstylist who did hair that I want and also trying to save money because what I was a student and a resident so I just did my own hair and I like doing my own hair well like um I would never like cut my real hair like I wouldn't do that y'all know y'all see me I go to the salon to do, do my real, real hair trims and stuff but when it comes to dyeing extensions and cutting extensions and sewing extensions like I'll do it because it's for fun so um the instructions on here I've done this a, a lot of times but it's basically equal parts so mix two ounces of liquid color permanent with two ounces of chloral apply using the desired technique for a full hit uh retouch application um process for 30 to 45 minutes so yeah so we're just going to uh, mix equal parts so two ounces of this i'm actually going to put four ounces in here four ounces of this and then four ounces of this so i already know there's two ounces in each of these I feel like I'm doing calculations. <laughs> in pharmacy school, calculations is a huge deal. So um, this, I already know this is four ounces because the bottle says two ounces. So I'll open up these two. And for my whole head, I'm going to end up using, usually I, didn't, I use one box per bundle, 
but for some reason I feel like I need to do more so I got two boxes per oh excuse you <laughs> um so I'm going to do four ounces of this and on the bowl it has um the measurements on there like a measuring cup I don't know if y'all can see but here they are you can see the little numbers so I'm going to measure it to four The pink bowl is kind of hard to see the colors on there. Okay, that's uh, four ounces. One ounce is 30 mils. Well, it's like 29 point something, but 30. So this is four ounces in here. And then I'm gonna do two ounces of this one. And two ounces of this one. It's poured out slow so it doesn't splash back at me. So to be clear, this is not a tutorial. This is just me showing y'all what I'm doing as part of my vlog. So don't go ahead and do this at home and come back to me and say, shuffle on. Because <laughs> I'm not a hairstylist. I'm a pharmacist by trade. But I know how to mix stuff up, like, you know. So I'm just going to, this is what it looked like. Can y'all see? I'm going to mix this up. And I have four bundles on my head, and it's 26 inches. So um, that's why, like, I feel like I need enough for each bundle. So that's why I'm gonna do four of these. So this is what the color looks like now. So this is the hair. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's like, y'all see the brownness in it? It's like brown. So, um, I'm gonna dye it black, cause I like jet, jet black. So it's definitely easier to dye when it's not on a wig, but it's already on a wig. And I was considering buying more hair because I wanted my hair to be black. And I'm just like, why? Cause this is still good hair and it's still a good wig. So I'm just gonna dye this black. So I put aluminum foil down. So I'm doing it on top of my vanity so that I could sit down. <laughs> so I put aluminum foil everywhere on the vanity. So I'm basically separated, can y'all see? Like I separated it up here. Then I got my, well these are, this is actually two tracks. So let me separate this. Cause I wanna get every single hair. Got a little tingle there. Okay, so all I do, roll up my shirt. All I do, is paint it. And like y'all already know I love art. So this is kind of like art to me too. It's very calming for me. Um, I enjoy painting, and so this is like painting to me. I mi mix too much dye. I literally only use four boxes of dye because I have two whole things left. So, oh, just wasted so much. Um, I literally use exactly two. So I use eight ounces of dye and eight ounces of cream developer. But this is the hair. And yeah. So I'll leave this on for uh, 30 to 45 minutes. Hey y'all, 
I'll give the details on my pull off and talk later, but I'm going to rip credits. Hey y'all, so it is Wednesday evening. I just got from dinner. Um, I would, was kind of like I was running out of time to do this before, so I got from dinner. I went to Ruth Chris. It was good. It actually, it actually was really good. And it was like kind of happy hour time. And it was actually pretty busy. I didn't know people would really go to happy hour like that. But yeah. So this is the outfit I wore for my dinner. Um, I got this dress from Fashion Bunker. Oh my gosh. I got this so many years ago. Um, probably like 2018. But it's so freaking cute. I probably can't even find this dress anywhere, but I just love this style so much. Now listen, I had to add a button in like right here because without this button, it was like, it was like pulling like this and I was like, oh girl, you know. So I added a button in to cinch this over more to this, like to cinch this over from here to go over here. Um, and that made it look better. But yeah, I love this dress, you know? I love the arms. This is the back of the dress. Ah, it's so cute. I had it for so long. I love it. Um, the shoes I'm wearing, um, Gia, y'all already know these shoes. And they, like, y'all know, I wear my stuff, okay? I wear my stuff. I kind of want to have like a very small wardrobe. You ever say where y'all ever watch that show? It's like, um, dang, it was like Stacy and Clinton on TLC. That show where they made people's like outfits better. They like, like like they bought them new clothes, and it was only a couple of pieces. It wasn't a whole bunch, but the amount of outfits they made out of those little bit of pieces, like that's what I want my closet to look like. In this dress, like. This is a good dress and I'm going to keep it in my closet as long as I can fit it, girl. I almost didn't feel it, fit it, <laughs> but I, I sewed a button on. Um, the bag I wore is from Amazon. Now, to be honest, if I had another bag that went better, I would have worn it, but this is all I had. I can kind of like go, but this is like a wear type of dress. Like it's like a dark denim and then brown so maybe if i had a brown bag but i don't have a brown bag so i just wore this so yeah but it was okay but i really love this dress it's so cute and this is how my hair turned out it's jet black very jet black y'all so i left my um like a whole bunch of my edges out because i don't know i just wanted to leave them out but yeah my hair is black black now so i got two things from um the frankie shop and i wanted to open them with y'all okay so i don't have that many items from the frankie shop i might have like two items so far so this is my third and fourth item no two items yeah no, three items from the Frankie shop. Maybe I'll do like a haul just to give y'all um, like a perspective of the sizing of the Frankie shop clothes. Hopefully I'm not looking orange. Let me fix this a little bit. Okay. All right, hopefully that doesn't make me turn orange. So this is the Frankie Oversized Boyfriend Blazer and it's one size and it's in black. So, y'all know I'm like a medium, large type girl, depending on where I'm shopping and how I want the stuff to fit. Now, most of the stuff I got from the Frankie shop already is like either large. I think I got both items. I think I got in a large, 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 medium, large. Yeah, because the one item was medium, large. They're one blazer I got from them. It's so good. But this is the oversized blazer. It's only one size, so there's nothing I can do about large. And it is for real oversized. But, oh, let me fix my hair. What y'all think? Let me bring y'all down a little bit. What y'all think? Because I want it, like I already have an oversized bla blazer, but I wanted something with more quality. 
Here's a close up of the quality, y'all. Like it's very stiff. And y'all know I love me a stiff fabric. Like I love very like stiff, stiff clothing for real, for real. Okay, so this is it. I think it looks pretty good. I really like how it does cover my um, like bottom. That's what I was looking for. And if you are, if you have long arms, I feel like it's long arm friendly because I have short arms and my, my hands are covered. That's what it looks like from the back. I can't believe this is one size because like people who are smaller than me, this must be like swallowing them up. Like I don't, I don't understand. But I'll probably fold it on the arms. I'll probably button it up and then fold it. But yeah, yeah, this y'all know this is what I like when I fold it and it's very stiff. Like it's very stiff right here. That's what I like. But it's cute, y'all. Yeah, I like how stiff it is. But it's big. It's big. So my next item is another jacket. It's a jean jacket. So, um, I follow the Yusufs on TikTok and one of the, so they're, um, two sisters who, um, do, they do like fashion stuff and beauty and lifestyle and all that. And one of the sisters had this super cute hat jacket on from the Frankie shop. And this is called the cat crop denim jacket, one size, and she looks so cute in it. And I just had to have it cause I had put on a dress and I'm like, oh my gosh, this will be so cute with this crop jacket because it literally is just for fashion. Like maybe it'll make your arms warm, but it's literally, it's crop like for real crop, y'all. So I already got these big sleeves on, so. Wait, what am I putting my hand through? Wait a minute. I was putting my hand through the pocket. Come on. What am I doing wrong here? Okay, so it does have padding in the shoulders, which I love. Y'all know I love structure. And I love, okay, here's the color. Get into this color. Love the wash. <laughs> this is so, I'm so happy about this. This is so cute. Like, I can't wait to wear a cute dress and then put this on, like, Look at the shoulders though. Oh, it's very little cute. Don't embarrass me. Ah! Isn't this so cute? Like this whole, it's just a head jacket. Like, so cute. So cute. Oh my God. And it's one size, y'all. So if you have long arms, it is long, girl, long arm friendly because it's literally past my hands. Like, can y'all see my fingers a little bit? Past my hands. This would look like from the back. From the front. <laughs> 10 out of a 10. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. I'm putting on my eye patches. These are the ones from Baggage Claim. Like, y'all know I love these eye patches. So it's Thursday morning and I just have one meeting today. So um, I haven't officially started my new position. I'm just working on projects from my prior position. And that's one cool thing about like academia and I'm sure other professions as well, but in academia, it's all about collaboration. Like collaboration is encouraged. So even though I'm changing institutions, like I still have, you know, partners and people I can collab at, at my prior institution. So that's always great to, to know that's still a possibility. But yeah, so I have a meeting today. Take my vitamin. It's my B12, y'all. I'm gonna get my allergy pill. I've been sneezing like crazy, and I think it's because of 
the spray that I sprayed. I don't know what, what's going on. And that's the only thing. I'm just sneezing. It's not, my eyes aren't watering. I'm um, not itching or anything. It's just a lot of sneezing. So I'll put my air purifier on. So while I let that moisturize, I'm gonna put my vitamin C. My skin care, skin care is always the same. I haven't really changed anything. This is a Sunday rally. Y'all know that. The CEO vitamin C serum. I'm gonna make sure to put some on my neck. So yeah, nothing crazy today. You know, these last few days, I've been taking it easy, like, cause this is like my break, really. So I've been taking it easy. Um, I've been trying to get on a schedule, but nothing stringent. Like I'm taking it easy, easy for real. And y'all, I'm sorry about the lighting because it feels like it's very shadowy in my camera. I don't know if it's shown here, but like when I'm looking at my mirror, there's no shadows at all. So I have to figure out the whole thing. Hopefully I figure it out about the next vlog. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. It's Thursday. And I'm gonna start the next vlog um tomorrow because y'all know i do weekend vlogs but i guess because i've had more time i've done like a weekly vlog kind of mixed i don't know but if you like to like seeing what i do during a week let me know um but yeah i really like vlogging i have some other videos coming up besides vlogs too so i'm trying to get back into that um, because I like doing those sit down, sit down videos and all that stuff too. Um, because there's some things like I want to show y'all. Anywho, um, if you like this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and, um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you already subscribed, thanks girl. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace and love.